नमस्ते चिल्ड्रन नमस्ते गोपाल भैया गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग सेशन नमस्ते भैया जी भैया नाउ ऑडिबल जी भैया ऑडिबल गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन वेलकम टू ऑल इन दिस मॉर्निंग सेशन वेयर वी आर प्रैक्टिसिंग एक्सरसाइज 2 एंड द पर्पस ऑफ दिस एक्सरसाइज 1 एंड 2 इज टू ऑब्जर्व आवर कॉन्शियसनेस ऑब्जर्वर observe our body and observe the interaction between the self and the body through consciousness so let's start with exercise 2 and let me brief both the steps then we will move to step 3 so basically in exercise 2 we are trying to observe the body and the interaction between the self and the body by the consciousness by the self so with this we practice step 1 in step 1 we are trying to see body as a body material unit self as a self conscious unit it means in step 1 we are trying to observe that these are two realities that exist distinctly separately so conscious unit is a reality that exists in this existent existence body is a reality that exists in this existent and there is a coexistence between the body and the self body and the consciousness so since the whole existence is a coexistence that's why there is a coexistence of a conscious unit and a material unit too and as a human being i am i can see i have enough potential to see that body is a different reality material unit and self is a different reality so the objective of this step 1 is to observe directly that i exist and body also exist and these two are different realities so it is important to note that we should have a direct observation that these two are different realities so i exist because i can observe few activities in me directly like desire thought expectations etc body exists because many activities are going on at the level of body and we can see it directly so in exercise 1 with the help of seven steps i observed myself my consciousness and is in step 2 we are focusing outside with the help of this consciousness so when we are focusing outside so we are focusing body then other things with the help of uh, other things which interacts with this body so we are trying to observe the consciousness and the body with the help of consciousness and we have enough potential to observe these realities directly so by using my potential from the state of pure observer i am trying to see myself i am trying to see this body and i am trying to observe the interaction between this self and the body which is taking place so objective of step 1 is very simple that we are able to see that self and body are two distinct realities so we are trying to see that self exists because some activities are going on in the self and these activities are conscious activities not physical chemical activities we are able to see that body also exists and it exists because some physical chemical activities are going on in our body and we have potential to see both kind of activities with direct observation directly and when we are observing our body one way is to see my body through eyes so when my eyes are open i can see my body direct easily its height color etc but even if my eyes are closed we can also sense my body through sensation because many activities are going on we can sense those activities like eating etc so even our eyes are closed we can easily see the activities going on in the body so we have to observe throughout the day we have to observe that we are able to 
find out the difference between the activities going on in the self and activities going on in the body. And we have to ask ourselves that we have reached up to this conclusion that the body and the self are two distinct realities. So it is important to reach at this point that there are two realities. One is conscious unit and second is the material unit. With this, we are practicing step two. So once I am able to see that there are two realities, then in step two, we are trying to see the interaction between this conscious unit and the material unit, the self and the body. And we are observing the interaction between the two. So we are trying to see this interaction is happening in the form of information or some physical chemical things are being exchanged between the two. So this we have to observe. So when we interact with the body, I give some instructions to the body and body follows those instructions. And these instructions are in the form of information not in the form of physical chemical things or activities. This is purely an information. So I give few instructions to the body and body follows it. So I, when I say get up, body gets up. When I say walk, body walks. When I instruct body to lift our hand, so body follows it. So this is how I am giving instruction in the form of information and the body is following it. So I, if I see myself, I give only those instructions to the body that I consider to be important. We are not interacting with the body all the time. We are not giving instruction all the time. Whenever I think it is important to instruct body, I instruct my body. And this instruction is in the form of information. Similarly, on the basis of the events that take place in our body, we read these activities, we read these sensations, and I read only those sensations that I consider to be important to handle at that time. And it is also important to note that we are not reading all the activities taking place in the body. Otherwise, body is a bunch of activities, physical chemical activities. Many activities are taking place in the body. But I read only those sensations that I consider to be important. So this is, this we have to observe. I read only those sensations which I think important. I am not reading all the sensations taking place in the body. So like, for example, itching. So when I think it is important to handle it, I read it. And when I think it is important to handle it, I instruct my body. So my hands goes up to that point and handle it. This is happening between the self and the body in the form of information. And self cannot touch directly any physical chemical activity. It only reads in the form of information and instruct to the body if I consider it important to handle it. So if we see the interaction between the self and body, it is only in the form of information, not of any physical chemical, physical chemical activities, physical chemical things. So this we have to observe again. The interaction between me and the body is taking place. It is in the form of physical chemical things or is it in the form of information? So these two, in these two steps, we are observing the self, observing the body and interaction between the self and the body. With this, we are trying to do this homework assignment. We are trying and observing the instructions that we are giving to the body. And you observe it that are you giving instruction to the body all the time or only sometimes? Many times, we do not interact with the body. We get indulged into our imagination. And whenever we feel important, we interact with the body and we give some instruction to the body. 
then we are trying and observing the various sensation taking place in the body so you can sit peacefully comfortably and try to observe the sensations taking place in the body and very soon you will be able to see that many sensations are taking place in our body but we read only those sensation that we think it is important to handle it so this we have to observe are we reading all the sensation in the body or some of them then we are also trying to do any activity slowly and observe the interaction of the self and the body during that activity so this is all we are trying to observe this for ourselves the entire day this is what we are doing from yesterday exercise two step one and two with this now step three is an extension of step two so let me brief this step three then we will take your observations so in step three we are asking who is deciding to give instruction to the body or to read specific sensations from the body this we have to observe who is deciding so some activities are taking place in the body are these activities coming to me in the form of information directly or i am taking decision to read this sensation this we have to explore in ourselves so there are many activities going on in the body at the level of body only activities are happening but at the level of self i decide which activities to be handled or not i decide which activities to be read or not so if i think it is important to handle these activities then i decide i don't think this is important i don't even read those sensation so if we observe the decision who is taking decision the consciousness is taking decision or the body is taking decision to send the information to the consciousness so this we have we are observing in step 3 so step 3 is an extension of this step 2 where we are observing i am deciding to read instruction uh, sensation from the body or body is sending information to me and i am forced to read it this we have to explore in ourselves so with little exploration with little observation we can see that i am the one who decides to give instruction to the body i am the one who decides to read a specific sensation from the body sensations which i consider important so this is me who decides to give instruction to the body this is me who decides to read specific sensations from the body the decisions regarding the exchange of information between me and the body are entirely mine i am not bound to address each and every activity going on in the body i am free to decide whether to address this sensation or not so in that sense the decision is mine so i interact with the body as and when i require i interact with the body from time to time not continuously so i am not continuously interacting with the body whenever i think important i interact with the body rest of the time i indulge within my imagination rest of the time either i am thinking about the past or the future or the present anything but whenever i try to express my feelings my thoughts i use my body i instruct my body and i express myself to the help of the body so we are not using my body all the time only when i think it is important i instruct my body otherwise i get indulged into my imagination with some issues and the body acts according to the instruction that i give it i use the body as per my decision i use the body as an instrument so in this step 3 we are observing who is the decision maker so suppose my hands move i change my posture of body 
who is taking decision body is taking decision itself or i am giving instruction to body change the posture move my hand get up and walk to the another room talk ask question is it happening by the decision of the self or it is happening by the decision of the body this we have to observe in step 3 so in step 3 we are trying to explore who is the decision maker so if i find that i am the decision maker then i can sense that i am not bound with the body because i am a distinct reality i am another reality that is not bound with the body that can instruct the, to the body so i am consciousness i am can instruct to the body but i am not bound with the body so once i realize that i am the decision maker then it is not compulsory to get affected by activities of the body now it is my choice whether i have to response to the sensation of the body or not now it is my choice if i am the decision maker so we are exploring in this step 3 that who is taking decision who is the decision maker so with this i can see that i am the one who decides what to do and what not to do at the level of self i decide my desire thought expectation at the level of body i give instruction to the body in accordance with the work i want to take from the body and the body does accordingly i operate the body as per my decision i use the body like an instrument so this is my decision so what is happening at the level of self is my decision what to do with the body is again my decision so i use the taste from the sensation to decide what is to be done with the body with outside world so it is my decision so with this we can see that i the self is the seer observer so i have potential to observe myself i have potential to observe the body i have potential to observe the whole existence so in that sense i am seer so i see the body i observe the body as and when required so i am the one who decides to see when i decide to see i see the sensation of the body if i don't decide to see i don't see the sensation in the body if i am not observing it doesn't mean nothing is happening in the body many activities are going on in the body from day and night but i when i think important it is important to observe the sensation then i see that sensation so in that sense i am the observer and I am using this body as an instrument for me. Then I am the doer also. As and when required from time to time, I give instruction to the body. In that sense, I am doer. Because I decide to give some instruction to the body. In that sense, I am the doer also. Similarly, I am the one who experiences happiness and, and unhappiness. So when I read sensation, and when it matches with my expectation, I feel happy. When it doesn't match with my expectation, I feel unhappy. In that sense, I am enjoyer, experiencer. So if I am able to see that I am observing the body, I am taking the decision, I am experiencing happiness and unhappiness of that decision. So we can say that I am seer, I am doer, and I am enjoyer, experiencer. With this, we can say that body is an just instrument. So I am using my body as an instrument. Whenever I think, when I, whenever I feel important to express myself, I use my body. Whenever I decide to read sensation, I read sensations from the body. Whenever I think, now I have to use my body to do some actions, I instruct my body and body follows it. And whatever decision I am taking within me, I am experiencing happiness and happiness of those decisions. In that sense, I am experiencer also.
enjoyer also so i am observer seer doer and enjoyer body is just my instrument and i use this instrument as per my decision i am not bound to reach sensation to use this body all the time whenever i feel important i use it whenever i don't feel important i don't use it so this is how the body is with me this is how the interaction is taking place between me and the body and while this interaction is taking place i am the seer i am the doer i am the enjoyer so with this step 3 now we can choose a comfortable posture to sit in and try not to change this body position for 10 minutes you may keep your eyes open or closed what we have to do we have to observe our interaction with the body observe who is the decision maker self or the body so suppose you are sitting in a position and there is a pain now you decide to change the posture who is taking this decision you are taking this decision to change the posture or body is taking the decision to change its posture itself this we have to observe during this step 3 then we have to observe what sensations could you read from the body many activities are going on in the body what sensation could you read from the body what instruction did you give to the body during this 10 minutes so we have to observe our interaction with the body for next 10 minutes so we can sit in a comfortable position we can sit peacefully and we can start observing ourselves we can start observing body and we can start observing the interaction between the self and the body so now it's 5:55 for 10 minutes we will do this exercise and at 6:5 we will share our observation and when we share our observation it helps to grow each one of us so let's start observing we will meet at 6:5 just after 10 minutes then we will share our observation so we can sit and we can start observing what is happening okay so let's come back and we can share our observation of this 10 minutes your experience so yeah good morning namaste yeah. namaste bhaiya namaste mm -hmm. i hope i am audible clearly yes bhaiya yes yeah uh bhaiya yeah, that's uh, actually i could not observe it at 10 minutes i was in walking but anyway i was observing myself mm -hmm. that <laughs> self is giving some instructions in the sense while i am walking mm -hmm. i could see sometimes it is looking towards one side sometimes other maybe the thoughts are going here and there that observation what i have done while i am walking mm -hmm. but anyway my question related is that is yesterday's uh, assignments mm -hmm. are you reading the sensations in the body all the time or only sometime so i could see that definitely i am not reading the sensations in the body or not all the time and only sometimes right. and when other part are you reading all the sensations in the body or some of them hope that i am reading not all the sensations okay. that's my question is on what basis the self is deciding these sensations we are so uh, at what basis self is deciding to read that sensation or not this is yeah yeah what you on what basis okay. i am reading these sensations okay so at what basis the self decide to handle that particular uh, sensation may depend on our beliefs and may depend on our understanding of reality suppose for example hai na many of us have become habitual to remove unfavorable sensations to remove or to keep ourselves away from unfavorable sensation unfavorable individuals humans so this is how we are practicing it 
because we want to be happy continuously and when we think that this sensation is an obstacle obstacle in my happiness then immediately we try to remove it immediately we try to handle it immediately we try to read it and dissolve it so most of the time this immediate action to handle this sensation is because of i think that the unfavorable sensation is keeping me unhappy or due to this unfavorable sensation i am not feeling comfortable so how can i be comfortable by handling this sensation so immediately i read that sensation and i try to handle that sensation because i have assumed that this sensation is making me in trouble so this could be one possibility that's why i am paying attention to that particular sensation and try to handle it second is i want to express myself and during this expression some sensations are taking place and i am trying to handle it because it is an obstacle when i am expressing myself so this could be another possibility that i read sensation and handle it so in this manner there could be many possibilities this is why we are trying to handle these sensations handle these sensations so let's explore in yourself at what basis you have decided to read this sensation and you are trying to handle this sensation so if we explore it in ourselves definitely we will find any reason that we decided to handle this sensation so you just read it you explore it what is the basis what are the basis of which you decide to handle this sensation but you have a choice if you don't want to read this sensation don't read let the happen whatever is happening at the level of body so you have this choice but generally we handle this sensation because we think it is making uncomfortable for example i am feeling uh, for example blood is flowing in the body and now i want to nurture my body and to nurture my body to protect my body i take decision to handle this blood flow i take medicine and i used medicine over that particular area so this decision is based on on the feeling to protect my body suppose a fly is coming sit on uh, in your body and you are feeling uncomfortable now you decide let this fly keep away from my body because it is making trouble for me so you decide to take this you take decision to move this fly away from your body so you have to find out what could be the possible basis for yourself ji bhaiya yeah bhaiya i think uh, in conclusion we can say that it decides which is important and which gives happiness to it is it right, right. ultimately ultimately we, we connect everything with our happiness yeah yeah that what i thought what i understood with this narration is this way yeah and one right. more question bhaiya that's uh, at the end in brief right how and when it decides that this instrument is not useful i have to leave it have you ever decided it that this <sighs> instrument is not useful may i i don't think no right so you have not decided it that's why you are with this instrument see this instrument is not a problem problem is in our imagination okay so when i think that this instrument is a problem then i may decide to leave it but problem is not at the level of body problem is it at the level of self so when i can handle the problem of self with my understanding then there is no need to leave this instrument in fact this instrument is useful to express myself to express my feeling suppose i want to express my feeling of care with my child 
So this instrument is useful to express that feeling. I want to communicate with someone. So in communication, this instrument is useful. And with the help of this instrument, I am communicating with you. You are communicating with me. Yes, we are. So we, we think it is important. That's why we are with this instrument. If you think it is not important, it is our choice because there are two distinct realities. I may disassociate with this body if you think it is not important. But it is our decision to be with this body. That's why we are. Right, Bhaiya? Yeah, right, right. Thank you, Bhaiya. Very nice. Okay, Bhaiya. Thank you. Now... Bhaiya, Namaste, sir. Bhaiya, am I audible clearly? Yes, Bhaiya, you are audible. Ji, ji. So, Bhaiya, while doing this 10 minutes, actually, I am doing throughout the day from last two years at least. I am finding that as you discussed now, this body is very much useful instrument for me. And unless and until I decide, nothing can happen. I think so. Even now I am speaking. Even now raising the hands. So unless and until I decide, it is my decision all the time whether to raise the hand, whether to speak, whether to move, as if you told so during these 10 minutes, a uh, mosquito was sitting on my, um, this one, um, feet here by side. Mm. So we have to pack mm. that or let it be there. So it depends. Sometimes it happens that that mosquito is not doing me anything. Whatever be the thing, it will just pierce uh, that needle inside and it will go, mm. it will take a small amount of blood, which will not be affecting to me. So I will, I will do. I will let him let him sit there, enjoy there, and I am also enjoying. So this this was my observation during this uh, ten minutes. At least I throughout the day I'm observing whatever you are telling is very correct. Unless and until I decide, nothing happens. If so, so many things are happening, but I am not caring. I only um, uh, give the instruction when it finds it is important for it. That's, that's all from my side. Thank you. Right, dear. So with your sharing, we can say that we have a choice whether to read the sensation and Ji. to take some decision Ji. or not. We have with this choice. And if you see the body, many cells are composing, decomposing throughout the day. Blood is flowing. New cells are born. Old cells are die, dying. All this happening within our body. But we are not reading those sensations. We read only those sensations that we think it is important to handle. Exactly. So it is important observation. And with this observation, we will, we will be able to see that we have a choice whether Gee. to interact with the body and not to interact with the body. Gee. We are not bound to interact with this body. Yes, sir. This is very important. We are not bound. Exactly. Right. Yeah. And it is the same thing for other feelings also. What you're missing. Somebody <laughs> is disturbing my happiness. No. I am 100% because we have to go by this step number one first and then step two. So 100% it is my decision. Jibaya. Thank you. Right. Thanks a lot. Namaste. Right. So I am the seer. I am doer. And I am enjoyer. Yes, body. sir. Yes, I have done earlier also. I can say like this. Yes. But slowly. So you can enjoy. Ji. Right, Bhaiya, right. Ji. So as I am enjoyer, you can enjoy this bite of mosquito. You can enjoy AC also. <laughs> why why not? Why not? Yeah. <laughs> Simultaneously, my wife says, Ari, it is biting, it is biting. Well, let it bite to you. If you don't want, you throw, you you drawing my I am not dragging. I am sitting quiet. Isn't it? <laughs> It is my decision, Bhaiya. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Namaste, yeah. Sabiko. Dhaniwad. Namaste. Uh, namaste, Bhaiya. Namaste. Namaste, namaste Sabiko. Namaste. Uh, sir, I have one question, just a, in form of a query. Uh, mm -hmm. Suppose I am walking on the road, mm -hmm. and I was thinking of something, and I had partial attention towards the road, but immediately I see something which is 
I should avoid, I should not trade on that. So mm -hmm. immediately, uh, before I know, my body takes the decision. Perhaps mm -hmm. I think uh, mm -hmm. that is in a way of reflex action. So mm -hmm. in, that, in that case, whether it is me or my body taking the decision. Thank you. Okay. So, Bhaiya, we can observe it with more focus that I am taking decision or the body is taking decision. Suppose, oh, in that case, I'm. Hmm. In that case, suppose yeah. a vehicle comes in your at uh, in your way. Yes. And you see the vehicle and you jumped from that way. <clears throat> so it is decision of myself or decision of my body. Yeah. So this we have to explore because we have a natural acceptance to protect my body, to nurture my body. That's why I don't want to damage my body. So immediately I take decision to move away from that road, to keep my body away from that bus or truck or anything. So something is going on in my mind that we have to protect my body. This is my natural acceptance. To protect my body, I keep myself away from that bus or track, anything. Suppose a person who is going to going for suicide and he comes in front of train or bus or truck, and because he has decided to end his body, now his body does nothing because he has taken decision. You know? So he has taken decision. That's why his body is not jumping here and there. We are in the sense that we have to protect our body. That's why we keep jumping here and there whenever this situation comes. So it is our decision. So somehow unconsciously we are deciding that we have to protect my body. We have to nurture my body. Uh -huh. That's why your body is not, your body is jumping, but this <coughs> body the person who is going to suicide, his body is not jumping because he has taken decision. What do you think, Bhaiya? Is it right or not? Yes, in that case, it is right. Yeah. So that is that... knowingly, but in case of reflex action, my query was there. That is whether that is also applicable in that stage or something else. So reflex action is an outcome of your decision. Decision to protect my body. So unconsciously, you naturally want to protect your body. That's why at this situation, this kind of situation, you take decision to save your body, to protect your body. So we have to observe this reflex action also. See, body is taking decision or I have deciding something. That's why I am giving some instruction to the body and body, body is following it. This we have to observe. Yeah, in that case, maybe it is something a standing order. It is given by the self to the body that to manage the situation, manage the exigency. Is that like that also? Yeah, Bhaiya, many decisions, many information we pass on to the body. And many times you will notice that you are taking decision, but you are not aware. For example, you are sitting in your office. You change your posture many times, posture of your body many times, but you are not aware of it. Is it reflex action or you are taking decision to take your posture? No, it is. I am taking the decision. Yes, you are taking a decision, but you are not aware. Similarly, yeah, in this yeah. kind of situation, when there is a danger outside, you okay. are not aware, but you are taking decision within yourself. Okay. Otherwise, okay. it is difficult for body to take decision without your concern. So activities are going on in body, not decision. Decisions are going on in me. So if I decide, body will jump. If I don't decide, body, body will not jump because I am the doer. If body is doer, then it becomes very difficult for us to handle it. You are thinking something else body is thinking something else, then it will be difficult to handle both of them. So this we have to explore. 
many decisions we are taking many times we are interacting with the body without awareness so keep observing those moments also when you change your posture and at that moment you ask yourself i have taken decision to change this posture or body has taken decision yeah yeah then you will be clear of these reflex actions okay okay let me let me see parka thank you Okay. Namaste, Bhaiya. Good Namaste, morning. Good morning. Yeah, it's long time uh, after uh, we are interacting. After Sairam is very nice. Yes. Hope you remember. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Uh, my yeah. question is, Bhaiya, like, uh, mm -hmm. uh, if it, there is an intense pain, mm -hmm. can uh, that time also? Can the self override uh, the pain? Just like maybe examples of uh, a cancer patient having intense pain, or maybe a pregnant baby, pregnant lady delivering a uh, baby at that time. So even that pain can be overrided by the self, can be decided by the self. This is the question. Yeah. Yes, yeah. So what I think, choice is available. You know? If I, I am paying attention to the body, then it is difficult to keep myself away from that pain. If I am paying attention somewhere else, you know, if I am paying my attention somewhere else, then I may not read that intense pain also. So choice is available, but what I think in this case, more awareness is required and you know, more conscious decisions are required. So if we are more conscious about my decision, then we may indulge myself, my imagination somewhere else. And then it is possible to avoid this intense pain also. As a possibility, it may be there. For example, when a child is watching TV with a loud voice, with a loud speaker. And this child is so indulged in watching TV, so associated with this, that serial characters, that it is not able to hear the voice of his mother, father, because he is indulged into somewhere else. He is indulged into the TV with the character. So if I indulge or if I try to indulge somewhere else, then there is a possibility that I may avoid that information of intense pain also. But a high awareness is required for that. Ultimately, both are two distinct reality. Body is a different reality. I am a different reality. What is happening at the level of body? I have a choice. I have a choice means if that time when there is a pain in the body, I am indulging myself somewhere else fully, then there is a possibility that I may not read that sensation. So as a choice, it can happen, but awareness is required and more consciousness is required. Conscious awareness is required. Ji bhaiya. Ji bhaiya. So uh, that means any pain can be... Uh... Uh, decided by the self like not to read or um, not but then again uh, one thing maybe uh, we have not gone through that or can we say that anytime uh, it has happened in human being that he was uh, able to have that eye awareness in such a way that um, any pain no can be uh, he has the choice of not reading the most intense pain also. Maybe any time uh, any lady was able to be recorded or something like that, where it is, it was practically possible, I think. Yeah, it is possible, but it requires a lot of awareness. And if you see in daily routine also, a little pain can make trouble for one person. And that pain can not make trouble for another person. It depends on their awareness at that time where he is 
where he is with his consciousness. So if I am focusing on that pain, then it becomes difficult for us to keep ourselves away from that pain. But if I have decided I am indulged somewhere else, then it is my choice not to read that sensation and do something with our consciousness. For example, when uh, children are playing cricket, so it is a common incidence. Many times you know, a blood flows uh, with a particular child, but he is so engrossed in playing cricket that he doesn't pay attention to that blood. When others see this blood, they come in a trouble. But that child who is engrossed in playing, who is indulged in playing, he is not reading the sensation coming from that uh, blood. So he is not feeling any pain. After the cricket, when he starts paying attention to that blood, to that part of the body, now it is difficult for him to avoid that pain. But earlier, it was possible for him because he was indulged in playing cricket. So for, as a possibility, there is a possibility. Uh, so we have a choice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.